Hey guys, this is Asen Hansen of Alan Northpool a staking pool operator for the Cardano cryptocurrency. Uh, today I want to wish you first of all a happy new year and uh, I'm going to try something new. I want to try to make short small videos about stuff I'm interested in. And currently I'm quite interested into Ergo, another cryptocurrency. And the reason why is because they have a great collaboration with uh, Cardano. For example, Yoroi have the Ergo wallet and uh, oracle solutions on ergo uh, will work in cardano and they're closely integrated so i think uh, uh, ergo's success is also cardano's success and vice versa and so to this small clip here i want to show something that i had some struggles with myself that was compiling a miner in uh, windows I uh, usually use uh, Linux, but I think many users still for uh, personal computers use Windows and I had to do some trial and error. So maybe you can uh, learn something from this video. If you want to get into proof of work on Ergo, uh, we'd say uh, you have an NVIDIA GPU, right? then yeah, uh, that's this video is for you. So first of all, I will this, in this guide not show you how to make a node in Ergo. There's a good guide on that on the web page of Ergo. Uh, but you need a running node, uh, as I have here. Uh, so it's running, and because the reason you need it's running is because it will give information to the miner. Uh, so you need to have it both running and I guess also unlocked. Uh, yeah, I will not show the password here, <laughs> but uh, it needs to be unlocked. And then um, you can compile a miner. So this uh, GitHub here is for the new reference miner that was released just three hours ago. Uh, it uses a new um, hashing algorithm, I guess, uh, called Autolycos version 2. And what's important about this is now um, it should be even better to uh, compile with the older graphics card because it takes less memory. That's one of the important things. So even a 3 gigabyte uh, NVIDIA card or AMD card should work. Um, and when I did this guide, it's pretty straightforward, but there are some things I noted that uh, could be helpful for you. So first of all, the direction of things, you need to install Visual Studio, then the CUDA toolkit, because the CUDA toolkit adds libraries to Visual Studio, and Visual Studio is just Microsoft community free download. It's, uh, the community version is free, so that's great. Then you have a Visual Studio folder. And then you have a 64 bits native environment that you can use for compiling. That's how you do that. And the next part is building the libc URL and the library for that. And there's an instruction on how to do that. I found some, I had to deviate from the instructions myself. Uh, I had a newer version of C URL, C URL C774 I, you definitely have to set this 64-bit uh, environment. Uh, so, whoops, it should already be set. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to go into VC, then Accelerary, and then Build, and do the VC bars 64. Did I type it right? VC bars 64-bit button. Then, voila, you have a 64 bit environment. And uh, then you will also need to do a few more steps before we can download uh, the build, uh, the miner itself, and build it. Uh, you need also to uh, download OpenSSL. That was super simple. Download, install, and just you need to note where is the folder because you will uh, add that to the compile information where is the folder will open SSL. So yeah, you need to change the open select, open SSL directory, libsur, and oh, well, one thing before I forget it. There was another thing I had to do in the libsur compiling that was not in the instruction. So in my case, when I compiled it like this, it did not make the SSL uh, protocol. So checking the readme, uh, I found that uh, um, in the win build section here, uh, you need to add a flag. Uh, so with SSL, and in my case, I added a DLL of it, or you could compile it with static. And then uh, it actually made the SSL as well. So that's another trial and error thing for me at least. 
that could be useful for you. And then, so uh, if you have, have this OpenSSL, you have this uh, lib server, uh, you edit then the files. Uh, and of course, you don't know the release or get it the latest commit this release. And uh, then you edit this file and it is in, uh, let's just do it like this. So here is the folder and then it's in the subfolder. Uh, the win build command. Um, I have edited it. Uh, when you get download this file, it has another here uh, that is compiling the test version as well. I skip that because I don't need to compile twice. I just need the exe file. Then I op uh, change the OpenSSL directory to where I have it installed. The same for libs zero. And the CUDA compute uh, had to find. So I found a page matching CUDA art to what uh, graphics card are. In my case, it's an Ampere and I have uh, 86 I can use. So I think it's good to use the latest. So I added that here and here as well and here as well. Then I add the directory, directory in the default directory. Uh, when I build it with the SSL DLL, it did not work. So I had to find the libserv. But when I changed the directory, it worked perfectly fine. So uh, you also need to set the path for um, uh, NVML. Uh, and I did not have that uh, DLL. Uh, so I actually found that. Um, where it was located, and then I just put it in a folder of the Autolycus uh, uh, because it, it always checks for this DSL, DLL that it needs. So in this case, it's the, let's see here, um, uh, NVML DLL. You need that for uh, loading in the web page. There's some information from the miner, but it's not critical. But you need a lib serial. I actually, this is an ad hoc solution. I just put it in the folder. Uh, if I did not do it, it would complain uh, probably. But uh, there's many other ways to do that. And you just need to reference the DLL correctly. That's all you need. And then it will work. So with all that, you have the stuff, steps needed to. Um, uh, compile. So then we can try that just to see that it works. So here's the directory and we just win build. And it should compile perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, and after that you will uh, end up in the source directory as it's uh, the script is putting me in the source. Then you go back to the uh, subfolder and you have miner.exe there, and uh, you just make a config uh, for it. And the guide says very well how to do that. So uh, after that, if you have a node running and you use this config, oh, uh, I want that. Uh, the default for the node now is uh, 1953 uh, port. So you should change that as well, uh, or else it will not work. But doing that, uh, and then uh, adding, uh, the config file, uh, you should have a node up and running. Uh, uh, it says in one of the guides how to uh, add the, the secret uh, uh, to the node. Uh, and I mean the secret from the wallet to the node, uh, to the miner. And that's one important part of the Ergo uh, cryptocurrency is that, uh, and one reason you should compile and check code yourself is that uh, you actually have to uh, pass the secret, uh, your 15 secret words uh, as a miner uh, to do the mining. And that's uh, part of it is, uh, I guess, how they want the uh, pools to be individual and uh, they need to, they can't uh, delegate to others this information because it's your secret. And yeah, it uh, build it fine. So let's see if we go back. Uh, we have a miner. And we just need to use the config. So in my case, I added in the config also the secret keys. I will not show it here, but uh, if you look through the web page of Ergo, it says very easily how to update it, this to the configuration file. And voila, you have a running miner. So that's the small guide for me today. Uh, if you like this and or this type of in, uh, videos, uh, let me know. I should uh, try other stuff. Uh, let me know. Uh, currently my thinking is just show stuff I'm interested in and uh, some trial and error stuff that uh, others can learn from. All right, see you later.